You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. And next to the stunning about face from Mother Nature, wasn't it just like summer a few days ago? Sure seemed that way, but temperatures plunged across the east, whipping up fierce winds, rain, and snow as they fell. Now those storms are moving out nearly off the coast of New England, but the chill will linger. This morning, a 750-foot cargo ship lies beached in Virginia's Chesapeake Bay. Winds gusting up to 70 miles an hour pulled it off anchor overnight. Also overnight, that same system bringing snow to New York City and other parts of the Northeast and dropping temps by as much as 40 degrees. Something everyone had hoped they had seen the last of. We don't want to hear that four-letter word that starts with an S. Parts of the Midwest getting more, yes, snow. Detroit's already doubled its snowiest winter ever and now more. Near Buffalo, from 78 degrees a few days ago, they were preparing for several inches of snow. We'll probably be out plowing later tonight. Even in the south, snow was falling on flowers already in bloom. All across the region, temperatures are hovering near freezing. It's freezing up here. That's a real threat to crops. Apples, peaches, and strawberries already coming up. Pretty much their most vulnerable time. Farmers are spending a vigilant night. But if we start dropping below 30, we're entering an extremely dangerous zone. Fierce winds blew across the east. In Georgia, a falling tree split a house in two, trapping two women inside. I come out of the house and immediately heard the screams. And outside Philadelphia, a sudden storm caused neighbors to fear the worst. I, I thought it was a tornado, so I was went back down to the basement. The one encouraging note after a day of intense weather, the cold, wet, and misery won't stick around for long. And let's hope that is the last of the snow. What can we expect today? Thank you, weather meteorologist Jim Dickey joins us with the maps and the numbers. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, John and Diana. Drying things out today across the northeast after widespread flooding rainfall, even some snow. That cold front moves out to sea, but the cold air has moved in behind it. These are your expected early morning lows down to 20. Burlington, Syracuse down to 18 in Buffalo, 24 in Detroit, challenging record lows there. And meanwhile, another snowstorm is forming up across the upper Midwest. Snow spreads out of South Dakota across the Twin Cities into northern Wisconsin. What will be heavy at times here, 6 to 10 inches expected just off to the south of Duluth. John and Diana. Back to you.